All right. Oh, this is nice smooth pavement. Oh, shit. Probably not the best place to discover. But where I'm going now is actually on a decline. Love you too. Probably not the best place to realize that I never attached my stopper brake to these rollerblades. I just picked up speed and picked up more speed with no place to bail. I landed right on my left butt cheek on the sidewalk. I think I'm going to the car now. Hey, sisters. Sister! Welcome back to ADHD's The New Black. I'm Stacy Michelle. The idea for this episode came to me a few weeks ago when I put a glass vase on a countertop uh -oh. that I was going to put fake flowers in because I kill real plants. And because I know myself, I made a mental note. I said, Stacy, do not bump that glass. After two hours of searching for every shard of glass that spread between the combination kitchen dining room, I thought to myself, how am I going to cover a vet bill if Quincy, Desi Lou, or Max Dixon steps on a shard of glass? Then I thought about all of the other broken glassware, lost spoons, knives, and forks that I've had to replace throughout the years. I remembered the 17 waitressing jobs from which I was fired where I single-handedly doubled the dinnerware budget or added dry cleaning to their budget from all the red wine I spilled on customers' dress pants, business suits, cocktail dresses. Sorry, Maya Angelou. And I remember the Christmas I had just turned 10 years old and met my baby cousin for the very first time. The grown-ups are passing her around, and of course I want to hold her too. And just as my aunt is putting this new smelling bundle of baby in my lap, my mom said, Don't let Stacy hold her, she's too clumsy. <laughs> my own mama. Calling me clumsy in front of our entire family like that was the most accurate thing she could have ever have said about me. Or was it? Whoa. For this topic, I did some deep diving into the research and I found out I'm actually not clumsy. There's a reason backed by science that establishes a link between having ADHD and being uncoordinated. Many of us with ADHD have difficulties with something called pro 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 proprioception. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Proprioception gives us the awareness of where our own body is in space and in relation to other objects. Oops. Overreaching for a glass, bumping into things all the time, or my favorite, the ADHD walk. Guys, this spoke to me. And many of us with ADHD aren't just clumsy. We suck in yoga too. I've always wondered why one-legged yoga poses were so hard for me. Oh, why I'm the first one to lose when Simon says, stand on one foot and cluck like a chicken. <laughs> a large majority of people with ADHD have trouble with balance, and that is called postural sway. Postural sway is your ability to balance when you're learning to ride a bike or a skateboard or keep your balance on a booze cruise even after you've been drinking. <laughs> now get this, poor balance, postural sway, and being clumsy are actually quite common within the ADHD and the autistic community and other conditions that are considered neurodivergent. You can read all about that in the link posted in the show notes. Is it down there? Not all neurodivergent people are clumsy or struggle with balance, but many of us do. Oh. And just because you're clumsy or off balance does not mean you're ADHD are autistic. The symptoms that must be present before your doctor can make a proper ADHD diagnosis are found in the DSM. If ADHD makes us more clumsy, then why doesn't Simone Biles, who has ADHD, fall on her face off the balance beam? Yeah, and how come Michael Jordan, who also has ADHD, not only can dribble and chew gum at the same time, but Air Jordans are made for left and right feet. 
and you're clumsy, you have um, two left feet. <laughs> the reason the Simone Biles and the Michael Jordans excel at their sports is because they're gross. That's a typo. Is because of their gross motor skills. Gross motor skills control large muscle groups like your quads or your glutes. ADHD does not affect our gross motor skills. So yeah, Simone Biles, Michael Jordan, Michael Phelps, another Olympic medalist who has ADHD, they've all got the gold, but I bet they've also got a lot of black and blue from those bruises they get from bumping into the side of tables and stuff. You know, it's so interesting. Every new thing I learn about ADHD in a way brings me a little closer to my mother's memory because it helps me understand her better. For instance, I remember one time on a family vacation, she couldn't go on a bike tour with us because she had never learned how to ride a bike. Oh, you guys were so poor when you were kids, you couldn't afford a bike, huh? No, I just couldn't keep my balance. And yeah, we were so poor, I was the bicycle. Thanks for bringing up that trauma. And there's something else I understand better now. My mother was the oldest of five, but her younger brothers and sisters felt like they needed to protect her because she was always tripping and falling and bumping her head for no apparent reason. And this was decades before she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Tripping, falling, that was just her. And her sisters fiercely protected her when we went on vacation. And they accepted that that was just who she was. So if you're ADHD and you've labeled yourself clumsy your whole life, just look at yourself in the mirror during your morning affirmations and say, I have a neurobiological condition that influences how my body perceives itself and the world around it. Mm. Just remember, you're not clumsy. You have ADHD and that is just fine by me. If you're enjoying these videos, if anything has made you laugh, enlighten you, or just made you feel better about having ADHD, please consider going to my Patreon page to support the work that I do. And to the patrons who are helping me grow ADHD is the new black through your financial contributions on Patreon. Thank you from the bottom of my uncoordinated heart. <laughs>